Hey, Jackie, if you're going to stay for dinner, I need you to go to the store and pick me up some more meatloaf helper. You're out of breadcrumbs, huh? No, I'm out of meatloaf. <laughs> okay, I'll go in a minute. What's this? My insurance claim for the robbery. 27-inch color TV with stereo and remote? Yeah, so? Hey, the only thing those crooks ripped off from your apartment was a 12-inch portable black and white with a hanger for an antenna. <laughs> that Philco was an heirloom. You just can't put a price on sentiment. Well, you did. 750 bucks. <laughs> trashed my apartment. I'm only trying to get back what's mine, plus a little compensation for my mental anguish. Your mental anguish? What about me? I've been married for 15 years. <laughs> so, you think the insurance company's not going to go for it? Uh, I don't know. A multinational conglomerate outwit the Lanford scam queen. I'm possible. <laughs> Becky, turn down that heavy breathing. <laughs> Marlene's been taking my stuff again without asking. I have not. Then how come I found my new sweater at the bottom of your grungy closet? Because everything in the free world is at the bottom of that grungy closet. <laughs> so what else is new? Mom, this is the sweater I was going to wear to Diane's tonight to do homework. Since when they got a dress code at Diane's? Yeah, bosom face. <laughs> Can't we have her put to sleep? Well, we tried, but the vet backed out. What you doing, Aunt Jackie? What she does best, trying to get something for nothing. Mom, I can't get the knob to turn on this stupid washer. I hate this house. Nothing ever works. Except me. <laughs> hey, put me down for a new washer, would you? <laughs> Here, dig in. This stuff is disgusting. Wait till you taste it. June, I'm home. You'll never know how I've counted the hours. On your toes, right? See ya. Always nice to see ya. Leaving. I'm coming right back, so don't get too excited. <laughs> Roseanne, you need anything besides breadcrumbs? Yeah, pick me up a couple of those tabloids so I can keep tabs on Elvis. <laughs> Fork over the bread, Fred. Hmm. Don't hurry back, Jack. <laughs> Thanks for the cash, stupid. <laughs> Hi, the dadster. Can you drop me off at Diane's tonight? Mmm, for a price. Thanks. Not now, Dan. Not in front of the kids. <laughs> I gotta get out of this shirt. Mercury must have shot up 30 degrees while I was driving home. Well, your mercury always shoots up the closer you get to me. Come on out here. I want to show you the sky. I was on the job site. The clouds started spreading out like India ink. It's kind of like Close Encounters. Man, look at that cumulonimbus. Well, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> that little baby gets a vertical updraft going, you know what we're in for. Lots of little nimbuses. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this weather gets my fur up. Take a deep breath. You know what that smells like? What's the word I'm looking for? Garbage. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like the air before a storm. So stimulating. Central Standard Time, 